Hey there my fellow designers and creatives welcome back to another video in the Lottie Files course for designers. In this video we're going to learn how to import layers from Illustrator and Figma into After Effects. Now before I get started if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. So I'm going to show you an animation that I made uh, in After Effects um, and I'm not going to be teaching you how to recreate this animation but in the next video I'm going to cover some basics that you need to know when animating in After Effects and what is compatible with Lottie, uh, but basically these are the layers that we're going to be exporting from Figma and Illustrator. Now, um, if we sort of try to look at the animation and see what's happening here is we have two shape layers and then we have the sunglasses and then we have, uh, you know, the reflection and we have the eye and the mouth. Now, now some of these layers, we can export them uh, from other tools like Figma and Illustrator and some of them we can recreate the, that over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into Figma and show you how to export. Now, before we jump into Figma, you need a plugin that you need to install in Figma. So here I am on aeux.io. Um, it's a website. Uh, it's basically a plugin that's created by the designers, uh, motion designers at Google. So that's pretty cool. And you have three things. You have a plugin for After Effects, um, Figma, and Sketch. So if you want to import from Sketch as well, you can do that um, as well. Now, um, it's very simple to install. Just click on get started, uh, download the latest version. As you can see, this is updated on September 2nd, 2022. Um, and then you install it and you have to install it for After Effects and then Figma. Just follow the instructions. It's super simple and straightforward. All the instructions with images are available over here and you should be good to go. Okay, so here I am in Figma and what I've done is just taken screenshots of the animation that I wanted to sort of recreate. Uh, obviously the reflection over here is quite different, um, but I wanted to keep it super simple over here. And uh, I just sort of uh, put screenshots of the different stages of the animation. And I went ahead and created this layer. So what you want to understand here is that the first layer, it has some sort of a radial gradient that you see over here. And then it has a solid layer. And then we have uh, the eyes in the background. Um, and then we have uh, these two layers, which is uh, the glasses. And then we have a mouth here as well. Now, the other thing to understand here is that the eyes that you see over here, I've sort of grouped them into this. Now, you can either group them or you can ungroup them. And I'm going to show you what happens if you ungroup them and what happens if you group them. So the left eye, as you can see over here, is grouped and the other eye is ungrouped. Now it's totally up to you. It doesn't really matter what, what you do because in After Effects, it's going to import both of them and it's not going to make any difference. Uh, but I'm going to show you the difference of what happens if it's ungrouped versus grouped, okay? Here I have this layer which is going to act as a masking layer. I'm going to talk more about this later on when I'm showing you how to animate parts of this in the next video. Uh, but I've kept this as a separate layer. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to click on this. You want to choose export this. I've just selected this. And I'll come down here to the plugin section and I'm going to choose development and I'm going to choose AEUX. And that's going to open up this model sheet, uh, this small pop-up that you see over here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on send selection to After Effects. And that's going to do its thing. And as you can see, it just exported it right over here into After Effects in the same composition which I had the animation, right? Now, I don't want this to happen, right? I want it to change. So I'm going to press Control Z so that I remove all the things that we don't need. I'm going to come here to um, the uh, view section, or uh, actually the window, and then we'll come all the way down to AEUX, or I think it's an extension, then choose AEUX. And over here, this is the plugin, AUX plugin for After Effects. Now here, what you want to do is you want to choose a couple of options. Do you want it to export to a new composition or do you want to export it to a current composition? Right now, I'm going to choose new composition and then you can choose what size you want to export it in. So what does this mean? Now, in this case, the assets are basically 353 by 353, almost 353 over here. And if you want to export this at a higher resolution, you don't have to make this big right? If you want to export it at somewhere around 1000 by 1000 pixels or somewhere around that range, all you have to do is in After Effects, you want to come here and then choose uh, choose 3x or 4x and it's automatically going to scale it for you and put it over here. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and choose 3x over here. The frame rate, comp duration, all of this doesn't really matter. You can change that later on. And uh, I'm just going to make sure that this is selected. And I'm going to go back to Figma. And then here again in Figma, I'm going to come to plugins. I'm going to choose uh, development and choose AEUX. And then click selling, send selection to AE. And now that's going to open it up in, as you can see, a brand new composition. And if I go to composition and then choose composition settings, you can see that the composition is three times uh, the size of the frame that we made, right? That's great. So that's how you export the elements. Now, 
To pay attention to the eyes that we did over here, you can see that uh, if I'm just going to delete uh, or let's say hide the sunglasses for now. You can see that here we have the eye. So we have the pupil over here and the eye over here. Now for the other two, you can see that it sort of created this guide layer that you see over here. And if I turn this on, it's basically nothing. It's sort of like a guide layer. And this guide layer becomes sort of like the group. And you can see that the ellipse one and ellipse two are connected to group. So what does that mean? If I turn this on and if I move this, you can see that both the eyes are moving because both of the eye layers are connected to this group layer, right? That was the difference that we saw in Figma where one was a group and one was not a group. So in this case, I would just, uh, if I just control Z that I can delete the group and the ellipse and uh, the pupil, they sort of become independent of each other, right? So it doesn't really matter what you do in Figma because in After Effects, you probably want them to be a single layer because you probably want them as individual layers in After Effects. So that's how you export from Figma. Now let's look at it understanding how to export them from Illustrator. Okay, so here I'm an Illustrator. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that every element that you want and as a separate layer in After Effects is on a separate layer in Illustrator as well. Okay, so in this case, we pretty much want all the layers that we see over here to be on separate layers. Now, in this case, I can combine both of these and put them on one layer because the eyes are not going to move because these two elements are not going to move that much or we're not going to animate it, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and select the layer first of all, come here to the menu and then choose release layers to sequence. And once you do that, it's going to put all of the individual layers into its own individual layer over here. And I can select all of them and then drag them outside and I can delete the last one. I don't need that. And uh, as you can see, each of the layers are now on their own independent layer. Great. Now what you want to do is you want to save this as, as an Illustrator file. So I'm going to press Command Shift S and I'm going to choose save on my computer. And over here, I'm going to say sunglasses uh, dot uh, sunglasses emoji. And I'm going to save that to Adobe Illustrator. You can save it to wherever you want and click on save. Once you click on save, you want to make sure that the version is 2020. Um, and then over here, you want to turn on create a PDF compatible file. This just makes sure that it's fine. It's exported correctly in After Effects because I've seen sometimes there's some issue uh, if you don't check this on. So to be on the safe side, just turn this on and then click OK. Perfect. Now, here we are in After Effects, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click over here to import, and I'm going to import the sunglasses. Um, let's, where was the, where was that? Sunglasses, where, where can I find it? Yeah, sunglasses emoji.ai. I'm going to click on open, and then you can choose to import it as a footage or composition. I usually choose it as composition. And then what is the footage dimension? Basically, what is the composition size? It can be the document size or layer size. It doesn't really matter. We can choose layer size, um, and then click on OK. And once you do that, you know, open this up, you can see we have all of these individual layers and you can obviously rename them. I'm just gonna hide all of these one by one and you can see all of these are individual layers. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of this. Now, because these are Illustrator files, Lottie does not support Illustrator files. Lottie supports shape layers and text layers. So in order to do that, what you wanna do is select all of this. Uh, we can actually select the background and sort of delete that, we don't want that. You can select all of this, you wanna right click and you wanna choose create, shapes from a vector layer. And once you do that, uh, you can move all of these above to the top. And uh, these are basically the illustrator layers. You can choose them to keep them or you can choose to delete them. You can do whatever you want with it. But then now these become all the layers. Now, we have one problem. Now, the thing here is that in Illustrator, we added a gradient to the first layer that you see over here. But when you import from Illustrator, that sort of goes away. And that's a problem. Now, if you want to add other gradient layer, you can still add it. You can come down over here, go to add, and then choose a gradient fill, and then turn that to a radial gradient or linear gradient or whatever, and you can get it done, right? But if you export from Figma, the layer gradient stays the same. So to give you an example, if you select this, which is basically the small circle, you can come down here to contents, and then you can see here that there is a gradient fill. And if I click on edit gradient, you can see the same gradient that I added in Figma is also over here, right? So that is phenomenal, right? So that is the only problem if you do that with Illustrator. Now, there might be other ways of fixing this problem. I'm not very sure about what are the various hacks that are there out there. Probably you might find an answer on Google, but this is how it would look if I am exporting from Illustrator. But the other shape layers, as you can see, all of them have single solid colors. So that is uh, working there as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video on how to import layers from Illustrator and Figma. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye-bye.